Hey guys, how's it going? So we're here at my new backyard skate park. I'm not sure if you saw the most recent video I did about it, but it was like the whole process of how this park came to be, how we built the whole thing. That was really fun to make, but I didn't really go over the specifics of the park. So I thought it'd be really fun today to make a little video for you guys, a tour of the skate park and kind of break down the obstacles one by one, kind of how you skate them or what the inspiration was for each of them. And of course we're gonna skate them too, because yeah, this park is honestly not that big, but I feel like a lot Lot of thought went into it because of that and like how we spaced everything out where we put everything and the types of obstacles that we chose so it'll be really fun to tell you guys about it and kind of show you what our thought process was I guess we'll start off with the Nana Zone. If you saw the last video, you know this is the smallest quarter pipe of the three quarter pipes in the park so we have three quarter pipes in the park this is a two foot quarter pipe this one next is a little taller it's a two and a half and then we have the three foot Bum -ba -da -bum, right over there, right next to the old mini ramp. Those two quarter pipes, the bigger two, have normal coping, but my goal with this one was to kind of have the coping severely inset so that you can barely even, well, like you feel it, you grind it, but you're not gonna get hung up. For example, if you're doing like a rock to fakie, you're not gonna get hung up and fall backwards. I had this one in mind, one, because of my wife, Nana, so she can learn new tricks on this, like rock fakies and tricks like that. And two, because if you knew I grew up at Kaneohe Skate Park and I always skate that pyramid over there where it's like a really mellow pyramid and there's no coping. To me, that's my favorite obstacle maybe in the whole world. So I kind of wanted to recreate that in a small way in the backyard. So the Nana Zone is somewhat of a tribute to the pyramid at Kaneohe Skate Park. Yeah, so we'll do a couple tricks on this and I can kind of show you what I mean about it. I'll try and do like a blunt trick to show you the popping out and how it's like a little different than a quarter pipe with coping. Cause I personally love blunt tricks and popping out on them without coping. I think it feels so good. Let's see. Let me make just a blunt fakie. Yeah, you can give it like a little nudger and then maybe switch. Yeah, it's so fun. Maybe half cab in. Oh yeah. And the cool thing is you can still grind it. So you still hear that your truck still make contact with the coping. Oh, that was sketch. Maybe I don't even know what I'm doing here anymore. Ooh, okay, so that's kind of the thought process behind the Nana Zone, which is funny. I didn't really think it was gonna be this way, but this ended up being my favorite obstacle in the entire new skate park. Yeah, it just feels good. Oh, hold on, we got a little bee on the ramp. Come here, bee, get on my board. Be free. Sorry, I'm allergic to bees. I love them, but I, if I fall on that, I gotta go to the hospital. But anyway, yeah, so this is the Nana Zone. And then moving on, we have the two and a half foot quarter pipe, which I don't have a name for it, by the way, the whole skate park, I don't have a name for it yet, but we do need a name for the skate park. So if you have any good ideas, just uh, leave a comment and we'd love to hear what you have to say. But I really wanted to have these two quarter pipes next to each other so that you could launch out of this one and grind the top one. Like, it's like a step up grind. I'm not really good at it yet, but I'll try a couple tricks kind of just to show you what I mean. Cause to me, that was gonna be like a unique aspect of this park, being able to launch up and grind. So I come here, drop in here. All right, let's try Ollie up. Oh, that was sketch. All right, see if we can get a little 5-0 going. Oh, not really a grind. But the cool thing is you can also kind of grind it and drop down in the other way. Oh, well, I missed it. Let's see. All right, we're gonna count that. And then, so that's a two and a half, that's the middle one. Then we have the three foot quarter pipe. This one is really cool. We kind of extended the deck out a little wider. So, you know, there's more options for like flip in tricks or uh, stall tricks. It maybe feels a little more comfortable up here. And if you notice, the bigger one is right up against the back of the mini ramp. And that was done on purpose so that, you know, if you're feeling feisty, you can kind of air out, stall the mini ramp, go back in. You can kind of, uh, Kyle did it in the last video, aired out of the mini ramp into the bank. And the bank is something else I want to talk about. I really wanted to have a bank in the skate park so bad to like do tricks to fakie, stuff like that, flip tricks. So we thought it'd be a good idea to put it right next to here so that you could grind the three foot quarter pipe and land in the bank, which sounded so fun. Grind the coping, 
land in the bank. Actually, let me try and get a trick on the three foot just to show you what that is like. And then I'll try and grind it to the bank for you. All right, so we're gonna give it, well, I don't know, the tricks I normally warm up with. A little front side pivot fakie. A little weird. Front feeble fakie. Oh. Ta-da. All right, body condition's not great. That was not good. Try that again. Front feeble fakie. Ugh. Get a little blunt flip maybe. Interesting. Now let's try and grind it into the bank like I was talking about. Whee! It's so fun, it feels so good. Let me get a longer grind, maybe lock a 50. It's cool because even though this quarter pipe is shorter than the other, you can still drop in and get plenty of speed. Oh! Oh! That was sketch. Maybe I can like grind it and go to fakie, maybe. Oh, there we go. All right, let's get a little kickflip here. Boing. And the cool thing about this zone also is I wanted to give it a good run up to the hip, which we're gonna talk about next. So in order to give a good angle, we kind of made this run up. So you could kind of just throw down, drop into the bank, go to the hip, or if you're feeling feisty, you can also do tricks off of this into the bank. I mean, it's a little scary Larry to do anything besides an ollie, but I can give it at least a little ollie for you. Push off. Oh. And then I guess I should do a flip trick on the hip just to kind of show you. I mean, that was like the original main purpose of it. I don't know, just like a tray fakie or something. Keep it classic. Oh, no pop. Let's give it one more. Ooh, so bad. And uh, let's give it a terrible trick. I landed it. All right, next we're gonna talk about the hip. And this is the thing I was the most excited about while building it. To me, one of my favorite things at a skate park to skate, one of my favorite obstacles ever. So we were kind of having a tough time trying to figure out where to put the hip. And I realized on this side would be good. So you can kind of use the quarter pipes. You don't mess with the flow of those, but you can use those to get a good angle at it. I'm still kind of figuring it out. Like I'm not great at skating this yet, but I'll try and do like a couple tricks to give you an idea. Cause we wanted to also make it really mellow. So it wouldn't be too difficult. And uh, to me, it's perfect. Like the banks are wide. So you can come in like at a steep angle. You can come in at a mellow angle. I think I reversed those two. Steep angle, mellow angle. And then you have enough of a wide landing where you don't have to worry about like hitting anything. So let's try and get like a couple tricks. All right, so I'll try and show you my personal favorite way that I found to hit it so far. Again, I'm very new to this. But yeah, I just drop in here, do a little front side kick turn on that quarter pipe. And then it kind of throws you at the perfect angle, I a little bit. Right there, and then, ooh, that was the worst backside flip. But then you can kind of just go front side. Oh my gosh. But then you kind of just keep going. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, let me actually set up. Those were awful. Let me give it a decent tray flip. Actual setup for one, go front side. Oh, ta-da. So obviously you're gonna wanna hit it the other way too. And from what I found, it's kind of the same thing. The other way you just drop in backside kick turn and then hit it. Let's find out. I'll be honest, I have not skated enough to have done any front side tricks on it really. But I feel like this is the way. Just kind of drop in here. Do a little backside kick turn. Oh, such a bad front side flip as I heavy mouth breathe into the microphone. Oh, so bad, but you get kind of the right idea. And uh, I've been trying to figure out how to hit it fakie and I th think I figured it out. Why am I so out of shape? You just rock fakie on the quarter pipe. So kind of like, just go up here, rock fakie. Oh, that was so bad. But it kind of shoots you right in there. Let's try one more of that. That was disgusting. My parents would be even more ashamed than they already are. Boom. Fakie. And that's kind of how you hit it that way. So we have the final obstacle in the park. This one's really awesome. Basically we built it and we had this empty corner and we weren't really sure what to do with it. Ideas were tossed around of maybe just like connect these two with a piece of wood and make like a really sketchy 
wall ride. But I had the idea, we put a bench here to sit on and also we just connect the two with it so you could grind it. And Kyle made maybe the most beautiful bench that's ever been produced. I mean, look at this thing. I've never been more attracted to an inanimate object in my life. So it's like a really weird angle. You have to ride along the hip sideways and then kind of like jut into it because we have these things to block the skateboards from going outside, but there's like railings on most of the outer gate areas, but this one has nothing behind it. So if you fall down, you fall down. Let me try and just give you a little idea of how that one works. Let me try carve into it. I feel like that feels the best. So you just drop in here. Boom, come at it in an angle. Oh, and you can hit it like that. It's so fun. That thing just rules. And I think a reason it feels so good is because it's like not easy to skate. It's just like awkward and kind of counterintuitive to how your body wants to lean. So you know I like that kind of stuff. So it's cool too, at the barbecue, we were actually trying to grind this one then drop down and grind this one and then make it all the way into grind that one, which we, we got it. It took a while to figure out though. I'll give it like a couple, but I mean, if I don't do it here, you'll see it in the barbecue video anyway. So we are just dropping in here and kind of just, oop, oop, oh, missed it. Oh, kind of. I know it looks simple and maybe it is for some, but not this guy. All right, Whee. one, two, ah. Whatever, you'll see it in the barbecue video. So those are pretty much all the obstacles that we designed here purposefully. However, originally we were gonna have a gate to protect people from falling off of that side because it's just like a big drop. But before we were done building the park, I started skating off of it and I just put like a piece of extra skate light down at the bottom and it was actually really fun. So we decided to just keep that open. It is dangerous, but it allows us to skate it like a gap. So, or, or just a drop, I guess. Here, let me show you how it works. So we just have a piece of plywood or not even plywood, this is skate light. So we just have this piece of skate light. It's really heavy. You just move it over. Boom, now you have a new obstacle. We were like doing tricks off of it while well, I was, and nobody else wanted to because they're smart. Very low IQ obstacle here. But let me, let me show you kind of how it would work. It's also just a really fun way to end your line. So say I wanted to do whatever, I don't even know. We'll just go here, or if here, say I want to do a trick here. <laughs> then you turn and you just kind of take it off. Hi, <laughs> it's so fun. I haven't even really messed with it fully because like you could like put a ledge here, grind the ledge, take the drop. You could drop down onto the ledge. And then the ones I'm thinking are gonna be the coolest would be eventually grind this one and take the big drop. So it's whatever the drop is I just did plus two and a half feet. Or you could start here, ollie up manual <laughs> and then take the drop, which is pretty buck, um, but it'll happen eventually. Maybe for the sake of this video, I'll just try and take the drop. I've never done the big drop yet. All right, so I'm gonna wanna move the skate light here. Oh, it's okay, it's actually a lot scarier now that I'm up here. I like, I don't do drops. I actually haven't even looked at this, but I'll, I'll give it one attempt. Run, whoo, all right, one try. Ooh. Oh, I think I got that. Okay, good, I thought I broke the microphone. Give it one more. Again, I'm not drop guy. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. All right, that was fun. So eventually I wanna be able to maybe grind the coping and take the drop or like do a manual trick and take the drop. But um, that's one day and today is not that day. All right, that's it for the skate park tour. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wanted to give you just a basic rundown of everything and what we were thinking. So I just kind of skated a little today to show you what we were thinking, but I'm so excited because the real fun starts now. I can't wait to film more videos here, kind of pushing the limits of the park. I have a bunch of ideas already of like dream tricks that I want to do here at the skate park. For example, like flip tricks over the hip, land in manual, and then take that manual off the drop. Certain tricks like up to grind. I don't know, I've, I've been thinking about this a lot and I'm so excited to finally 
be able to film videos here. Also, if you guys have any ideas, please just leave me a comment and I will read all of them. I would love to hear what tricks you want me to try, how you want me to try and skate the skate park. And again, if you have a name for the park, it really needs a name. I've heard some good ones so far, but we're kind of waiting for the perfect one. And if you did watch the last video, you'll know that, yeah, this is all possible because of Jackie and Kyle. And I just threw a really awesome backyard barbecue party to kind of thank everybody who helped build the park with me. And that video is coming out right after this one. Jackie came over and Jackie actually skated here, reunited with the ladies auxiliary. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm so excited for the future and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.